Ja, ja. Oh, ja. Du hast das Stand ja. up. Is it on? Ja, <laughs> yeah, it's on. Right. Yeah. Hey, good to see you. Good. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Good <laughs> well, to be seen. What's the question? I do uh, see what's you. the question? I do see you. Uh, number one, a few house rules here. <laughs> Never say. Okay, you okay. all go to the bathroom now. Did I now. say that? Did I say I don't, that? No, no, you no. didn't. I'm just I explaining. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to be sympathetic for a change. So the question is... <laughs> the question I is, knew I'd love it here. <laughs> um, we're going to need uh, a whiteboard uh, for later, uh, but I just noticed this weird thing up here. Could we get the whiteboard up here? At your convenience, please. Electronic devices. See, I got my whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> so, the question, um, question is, on a scale of 1 to 10, how weird, different, unusual uh, were you, did you perceive yourself when you were growing up? That's a great question. Thank um, you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say that I was, I don't remember much before I was five. Yeah. But I do remember a visitation when I was five. Okay. By? Uh, it was uh, the Christ Consciousness, Saint Germain, and Angel Gabriel. Okay, good, good. Your, bu your buddies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and as a result of that, what what did you what did you think about your reality, your sanity? I I realized that um, that I am infinite. When you were five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, growing up, uh, where did you grow up? This is heavy stuff, right? Um, I grew up in uh, Birmingham, uh, in England. Oh, I assumed it wasn't Alabama from your <laughs> accent. <laughs> so, uh, so growing up, um, uh, you you kind of tried to fit in, but oh, you absolutely. realized pretty early that wasn't working. So, did you feel ostracized by your classmates? Yes, I nearly committed suicide. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh, how old were you? Uh, I was uh, about 14. But why? Um, because... Um, were you bullied? Yeah. Um, I, I, I developed a special relationship with the, with the Christ consciousness. Right. And um, Some people would say you're crazy. I wouldn't, but some yeah, would. Yeah, I, I got ridiculed. Yeah, I, you're going, I, going to class, uh, talking to a teacher, hey, I've got a relationship with the Christ <laughs> consciousness. <laughs> No, not not quite like that. I, no, I know, exaggerate, bad, as you know from. But but what I realised is that um, that I was much bigger than what I've been told. Yeah. And there was a lot more. It's just so much more than what I I've been told or, or what I felt. I just sounds felt like a bunch of ego stuff. I'm bigger. Maybe it may I'm be. bigger than maybe. what I've been told. Maybe. I, yeah, maybe I d I, d I don't know. But uh, yes, I was bullied. What did you say? You yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a little rule here, uh, and uh, I, well, I ask: uh, Should we have them go to the ladies' room for? Oh, well, hang on. Let me give you the option. I have options. an accent. Surely that works. <laughs> <laughs> or does he get a break? Does he get a a, a pass today? Who wants him to go to the toilet? <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't have to go. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah, it's an experience. It yeah, it's great. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, um, why d you say you almost committed suicide? Yep. It was really, 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 really tough on you back then, yep. and I did come to you a number of times. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so when I was eighteen, I had a visitation from the Christ Consciousness, which literally rewrote my programming overnight. Yes. And I was a completely different. What person. programming would you refer to? Um, well, I got involved in the uh, born again movement. Yeah. Uh, in the Christian Church. Uh huh. But I just started to feel and sense. <sighs> I don't know how, the great I am. That's all I can say. Yeah, that life is far more interesting, and people are so much more beautiful than what we've been told. Yeah. Why didn't you commit suicide? I believe that uh, looking back now mm -hmm. is that everybody who becomes a change maker has to face the abyss and ch commit to life. Would you please say that again? And I would really like this camera so close. Uh, okay, I'll try and remember. Um, I believe that everybody that wants to be a change maker has to face the abyss and then commit to life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And 
now you don't have to go to the ladies' room, and okay. uh, Linda will give you uh, a free scarf uh, since she doesn't have any Adamas. Oh, you get a free one. He's already uh, given me one. Yeah, but you get another oh, one. Oh, fantastic. Take it, damn it. Uh, it you. comes right, to you. Fair enough. I love so, abundance. It's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Linda, would you get him another scarf? Yes. Mike, Do you uh, want to that, carry was, that was brilliant, and, and I think every one of you uh, – thank you. I think every one of you can <coughs> feel the challenge that you went through. Uh, because you've gone through it also, maybe not to the point of suicide, but I would venture to say between those who are sitting here in person and those who are online that about ninety oh about ninety two and a half percent have thought about suicide not 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 the the grisly kind, but just I'm so done uh, I just can't bear it anymore and that's that's uh that's almost written in the book of Chambra. Uh, hopefully not for the generations to come, but for each and every one of you. I can, I can feel it, and others can feel it, and thank you. And uh, today, all that's, all that's going to be transformed today. That's why you're here. Thank you. Yeah. Funny you don't look like you're from Alabama. So, I, uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, thank you. Uh, so on a scale of 10, your weirdness is over the top. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, a couple more. 